Hello everyone. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Let's see if it shows me going live yet. I'm live. Are ya? I'm in. Four. Madison Fair. Hi, Madison. <laughs> Say it loud so people can hear you. Jean. Woohoo! Welcome everyone. Give you a few minutes to get in. Are you seeing a bunch of people? It did? I'm back in. Oh. <laughs> okay. We'll be sure to Janet see. Janet Rose. Hi. Janet. Hi. Joyce is saying hello. Hello. Love it. Is that Joyce or Joy? Because I didn't hear you. Joyce. Oh, okay. Nancy Franzenberg. I thought she was sick. Oh, yeah, she is. Nancy, I hope you feel better. I hear you got a cold. Tara says, hi. Jerry Lynn's watching. Hello, Yay, Jerry. Jerry. Jerry Lynn. Good to see you. Okay, now I can see names. Fran and Kelly and Nancy and Kathy Appleby and Madison and Jean and Angie and William and Marsha. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. Looks like we're up kind of up and going now. Yep. I'm seeing some likes and some hearts. Woohoo! Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Um, so we have kind of a fun show tonight. We got a little surprise, so I kind of wanna just wait and see if the rest of my pearls get in here. I see a few. Has it have you seen um uh Karen Jones? No, not yet. Okay, let me see if I can. Beth Ann from Philly. You and Beth Ann. Uh, I'm trying to think of who all the pearls are now. Like what about help. Kristen or Kristen? Have you seen any of them? Nope. Karen Jones. Better late than never. Hi, Karen. Hi, Karen. <laughs> okay. She well, better late than never. I'm. I'm. I kind of wanted to just wait a minute until they got in here because they don't know, but I've got a surprise for them tonight. And I figured I'd share it with everybody. So, hi, Carmen. Happy birthday early, Carmen. <laughs> it's kind of an inside joke. You won't understand it. So, um, let's get started with a couple of things. Uh, one of the things is that this weekend I had posted some pictures of... Bill and Madison and myself working really hard. I was kind of more like the super advisor of the situation, but I'm going to take credit for it. Um, <laughs> has your Aunt Barbara Trina come in? Not yet. Okay. Well, anyway, thank you for sharing, Beth Ann. Um, so I had posted some pictures of us and we're kind of putting... Um, what are those called pavers in yeah. for like a little little patio with kind of a trail down to the back um, uh, shed and everything and um, we're putting that in so I've got a couple things to tell you first of all my daughter was helping and and we asked her if she needed any gloves and at first she had some but then she went home for something right yeah. and then she didn't have um, her gloves on when she came back and so she has, I was going to show you on my phone, but I can't because I'm on the phone. Um, but she's got one of those where y you can use your, your fingerprint to identify your phone and open it up. She rubbed her fingerprint off carrying those rocks so her phone wouldn't identify it. Bill, who likes to take a bic to his head and shave his head nice and close, wasn't wearing sunscreen, but he had a baseball cap on so his head wouldn't get burnt. However, his neck is now peeling like a uh, snake skin. And the little hole on the back um, where you can tighten the strap for your 
baseball cap. So he's got a burn on the neck and then he's got a little circular burn like this um, in the back of his head. So kind of funny. Anyway, then my dog, uh, who is allergic to everything, quite literally, she's allergic to grass. Um, it's kind of abnormal, but she's on special medications and we do a lot of um, special needs stuff for her, don't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, she's and um, yeah, she is. And um, so she likes to be outside, but she hates stepping in the grass. Yeah, and such a back. oh, good, good, Madison. I'm glad your fingerprints have come back. But so she doesn't like uh, being in the grass because it causes her to itch and have all kinds of problems. So now she has been staying outside and I, I let her out thinking that she's going to come right back in. But she's laying on the nice warm bricks that are out there sunbathing so okay hi france all right well let's get going i think most of the pearls are here and mm -hmm. um those who aren't will catch up later so i have a treat i have a couple of things um first of all i want to share a card that was sent to me i love it when i get handmade cards just like you guys love it so my friend Beverly sent me this card and I just wanted to share it with you. It's got the new gingham paper and the butterfly punch it says you are amazing. Thank you, Beverly, but it's really you who are amazing. So isn't that just cute? So she sent me a little note card. Um, now I'm going to get into what my pearls did. So my Piccadilly pearls, by the way, I love my pearls. I have the I'm getting quite the little string of pearls, aren't I? You are. I think there's eight total. Um, six are directly mine, and then two others are from Kristen Tatum. And so I have a challenge, and I asked them, and this was before on stage I made this challenge, and I had a couple people take me up on it, was to make me a card um, using Stampin' Up! products. So... They did, and I just have to tell you, this is seriously a creative bunch of ladies. I am so pleased. Sorry, Bill. I know you're on there, but you didn't send me a card for one I thing. <laughs> so let me just show you the cards that I got, and you can ooh and ah. I hope everybody does a ooh and an ah. So this one was from Kristen Tatum, and... I love how she used the butter. Look at this on the inside. She used um, this image that's in the set. And I can't think of the name of it. Butterfly. I can't think of a name of it. But if Joy's on here, Joy, Joy will know. She colored the image and then she cut it apart and then added a mat. Isn't that just the cutest thing? I love that. So thank you, Kristen. That is great inspiration for anybody who's seen these. This is why I had to show you guys. Then um, my newest pearl actually is um, Anis with the, this is a retiring set. I'm really kind of sad about it, but it's called Jar of Love set. So if you want it, I would definitely get on and order it right away. But she did this in this vellum, which I think is really awesome. And I love how she made the banner. Isn't that cute? I hope they are oohing and on all over oh, the place. They are. There's all <laughs> Good. So oh, this beauty abounds is what Kristen used. Beauty abounds. That's it. Okay. So that was for this one, and then this one was jar of love. So pretty. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this one. Look at this. This is from Kristen Wenzel, and someone. And look at how these girls, they embossed it. They did all this extra work on these things. Isn't that just gorgeous? I love it. I just think that's so pretty. And then she added some embellishments on here. I think that's so cute with the butterfly bunch. Oh, adorable. I'll have to find out her secret to make that. But then Nancy, look at this. She even did the envelope. Look at this. This is like my favorite. I love this abstract flower. And Bloom bloom by Bloom, I think is what it's called. And they all embellished on the inside. I mean, how awesome is that? 
So I had to share this with you and I wanna tell you why. One, because not only do I have the most amazing stampers on my team, this group of, of ladies is awesome and I really think that they teach me a whole bunch, probably more than I can teach them. But, um, so I have these cards that they sent me and the, the thing was is they were gonna win this stamp set. The reason why they were gonna win this stamp set is because I have a monthly team meeting and um, I had made this card. I, de I do demonstrations like I do for you. I do them for, for them. And with this stamp set, most people had not seen this stamp set. This is on page 78 of the annual catalog, this year's catalog. And this is something, I see I marked it with an R because it's going to be retiring soon. So I had this stamp set. Of course, I showed them my version of using it as a background stamp and then coloring it in which you can ooh and ah over my work too. But <laughs> but they have it here and it's just, it's really pretty, but it's a stamp set that I don't know if it really stood out. So I like to feature things um, that are in, in the, in the um, catalog. And this is one of the things that I showed them. And then I told them that I was gonna put their name into a drawing. So, my little added extra tonight for this stamp set is I put their names down. Now I have two Kristens on my team, but they spell it different so I know who they are. So there's Kristen Wenzel, Angie, Nancy, and Kristen Tatum. And so I'm going to, I always fold these. Are you gonna draw for these two? Sure. This is my little team thing. So I'm shaking them up. Okay, hold on. Go ahead. I know, that's a little bit harder then. Angie! Angie! Angie, you won the stamp set! Yay! So, it's a brand new one. It's not my used one or anything. It's a, it's a new stamp set. So, I just want to... Um, well, actually, I'm probably getting together with you this week, so... You get this too. Plus, I have a couple other things. So that's as your you won your first stamp set as a pearl. That's awesome. We were we will be doing more of these each month. So, and if you want more information on how to be a part of my team and get that exclusive opportunity, you let me know. Um, let's see what else do we have. Share my video. I did not have as many shares this past week, so definitely share my video so you can get in for my drawings each week. Now, I do only do um, drawings in the U.S. for people who share in the U.S. I appreciate all the other shares in any other country that I may get. However, I'm not allowed to sell in, in those countries. So, um, U.S. only. And then I will put you in for um, one of my weekly drawings. And tonight we have product Angie. prizes. Product samplers. What'd you say? Angie's like, thanks girl for drawing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's trying to get her um, collection of stamps built up. So, awesome sauce. Okay, I want to start off, instead of doing the announcements um, right away, I want to start off with talking about uh, Paper Pumpkin. I know I've been talking to you guys about it, but those of you who ordered Paper Pumpkin this month, is it not amazing? It's totally amazing. Bill, you haven't even seen it yet, have you? Nope. So, I'm waiting. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to do a little preempt to it. So, you can't order this kit. I am going to show you this kit, but this month is already done. Now, you'll have until the 10th of May to order the next kit. Now, um, the next kit is with, it was inspired by Shelly Gardner. Now, she was, uh, one of the founders um, of Stampin' Up. Her and her sister started this business. And so it's kind of cool that she's come back. Her daughter has taken over as CEO. But so she was um, one that uh, helped inspire this. And I have, I still haven't made it yet. But from on stage, this is one of the cards that are coming in, which is totally 
uh, Shelly, if you know anything about her, and if you've followed Stamp Stampin' Up! for any amount of time, this is definitely her style. So, kind of excited to see this stamp set. But, let's take a look at this month's. Now, I haven't even opened it, and I'm, I'm not going to open it um, just yet. But I just want you to see the, the neat cards that they have on here. I, it's just such a pretty... Very, very pretty, and it's one of the distinctive stamp sets. So I can't wait to, to do this, and I and I will be. But if you want to get in um, for next month, I will get a, a link posted up this week of how to get, sign up. I want to show you what I did, though, with these stamps. So here's the stamps. And what I like about this one is you've got the distinctive stamp. It's it's like a flower and then the leaves, but you got a lot of sayings. So there's best wishes, happy Mother's Day. Oh, there is a little um, decorative piece. Thinking of you, which is what I've used. Happy birthday. Um, congratulations and thank you. Okay, so here's what I've made from it so far without even opening up my kit yet. I just did a SIP card, S-I-P, which is stamps paper, or stamps ink paper. And so I don't have embellishments or anything. It's literally stamps ink and paper. And I think it's adorable. I was messing around with it again and I did just a little bit more. Each one is its own sort of beautiful. I mean, I think, I don't know, maybe I did it that way. Yeah, aren't they adorable? I just did a little background stamping here, picked my color combination. Sometimes I think these distinctive stamps, and I added uh, a bunch of pearls in the center of that one, but so cute. So that gives you quite a few ideas about Paper Pumpkin. Each month I try to do something, which I will try to do um, something with what comes in this Paper Pumpkin kit. Because remember, just because they give you these cards to do, you can make them your own. You can do it any way you want to. So I'll probably try to come up with something separate, but I just used extra supplies. I didn't use anything in the kit, just this, which goes to show you that you can save these and use these for other things. So if you want to get in, save the stamps, I mean, if you want to get in for next month's um, with Shelly, you just need to sign up under me. You can still order the um, prepaid subscriptions. Um, I did a whole year at a time. So, and I did think I hear that Paper Pumpkin is going to be going up, which is, it's been six years um, since it has. So, um, it's probably about time. But if you want to get in on it and get a pre prepaid subscription while the price is less, this is the time to do it. Okay, that's my Paper Pumpkin spiel. So, any questions so far, Bill? No, they're loving it. Yeah. I've kind of showed you a lot of card options and stuff um, so far. But tonight... Said for Janet said she uh, made the drinks today. Oh, Janet did? Yeah. Oh, I cannot wait. Janet, I want to come visit you in nice, warm California. <laughs> That's where she's from. Now you'll remember that every yeah, time, right? So, guess what tonight is? Tonight is Fun Fold. Um, so we're going to do some cards with fun folds. So I came up with a couple of cute options that I want to share with you. I haven't done, um, I don't think anything's exactly new, uh, my own twist on it, but I haven't done, uh, fun folds in a while. And so I thought I'll do fun folds. So let me get the project out. Oh, you know what? I was going to mark the sizes. Well, this is a four and a half by um, 11 piece of Knight of Navy cardstock that I'm going to fold in half. And then I'm going to actually fold it in half again. This is what, I guess, I, the first time I did one of these was years ago, and um, 
I don't even remember who I was watching that I learned it from, but I always called it a pocket card. So folded it in half, fold it in half again. Now I'm just going to get out my paper trimmer because I'm going to trim off a, probably a, an inch of this. Because I don't, I can save that piece for another card. Okay, perfect. Nice. Maybe I want to take off a little bit more. So I don't feel like that. I'm going to take off a little bit more. I don't feel like that's showing enough. So maybe I'll take off. Let's see what another inch does. That's too little. Let's go. I'll do an inch and a half. That's better. Okay, so I trimmed an inch and a half. And then I have a piece of DSP. And I like to trim mine at four inches instead of four and a quarter to go across. And the reason why I do that is because then I can cut my DSP and not have that weird sliver left over and I can get more out. So if it's 12 by 12 and I'm cutting them by four inches, so I am going to, it's not going to go all the way to the edge, but it is going to cover. I'm just going to put an even border all the way around. Did that make sense? Mm -hmm. So two inches by four. I'm glad I can remember that. It's been a while since I did it. Use my green glue to kind of line this up. And it's just gonna be on the bottom half. And I'll try to make a so I've just got a border going around it. Now this paper is actually um, Twinkle Twinkle Designer Series paper. So it's from a paper pack and that's um, the striped one is what I picked. And I think that's really pretty actually. Okay, I am going to, I love having all of my ribbon and all of my colors right here. It's so awesome. Um, I am going to use some of the gray granite and it is the texture weave textured weave ribbon so i'm not even going to use any glue or anything on this part but i'm going to go ahead and place this around here hi monkey and then kind of measure up what i'm going to what I want here because I'll trim these down a little bit. I love this ribbon. Okay, now I'm just going to make a knot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Trim this down. Kind of center that the way I want it. There we go. Isn't that, that's easy enough. So now there's like a little pocket here. So I cut a piece of Whisper White, and this is a four by five and a quarter, which will slide up and down in this pocket really quickly and wonderfully. Okay, now I have a piece of pool party because it coordinates. And can you see that I scored? Does that show up on the camera? Mm. So this was just a scrap piece of pool party that I had and I scored like this. I put it in my trimmer and I scored three quarter of an inch just because it was a scrap and I I wanted it to kind of be in the center of the circle that I'm going to punch so I just used the little scoring tool and went 
like this. And I'm going to get the one inch punch and I'm going to stand up here and make sure. See, there's a little bitty line. Does that show? The score? Yeah, the score yeah. line. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So I'm going to use the one inch punch and I'm going to go in and just kind of like center that score in the middle. Okay. That just makes it easier for me to fold it because it's kind of a little piece. So then I'm going to take a little bit of my green glue and I got a fuzzy that's stuck in my ring there. I love this green glue. This is my favorite. It sticks and I'm going to put this at the top like a little tab to pull out. Give it a minute to, to hold on there. Oh, isn't that awesome? That was easy enough, right? So the stamp set that I used is Amazing Life. And I used it because it's got all of these little squiggles and everything. So, And I wanted to decorate up. And so I'm going to use this particular one. I've attached it to my block already. In Night of Navy. I'm going to go ahead and do a little stamping. So I'm going to pull out my mat. Because when I'm using photopolymer stamps, I do like to have the little mat, um, Pearson mat, because I think it um, helps that little bit of cush when you're stamping. And you know what? I just realized I'm going to use this last month's paper pumpkin piece is my little scrap paper. There we go. And I'm going to go up in these corners with this. Oh, I got the phone right in my head here. And I'm just going to do a little embellishment at the top. Come on, tell me that ain't adorable, right? That makes, so when I put this in here, awesome. Let me just clean my stamp quick. Any questions or anything? Is everybody asleep? Joyce says that she has one that says pull. Oh, she does? Tiny stamp that says pull. Pull, huh? That's cool. Yeah. Well, I think people would look at it a little bit and go, how does this work? Okay, now I'm not done there. So this also has, I'm always needing birthday cards. In fact, um, I'm kind of out of birthday cards right at the moment, so I'm going to have to make a bunch. But So, Happy Birthday is in here, which I thought was kind of cute, and it's just kind of simple. This could be for a man or a woman, can it? Mm -hmm. Sure. You don't mind the little embellishment stuff, do you? No. Okay. So, I am I normally do black, but for some reason with this and, and Night of Navy is a strong enough color um, on its own. So I'm going to kind of look at where I want that up there. And I am going to take it out because that bow will. Now I got to line it up. Can she get it straight? Let's see. Ah, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. So cute. What do you think? Looks good. I can't believe I did it that good with a camera right in my nose. You guys, like literally the camera's in my, in my face when I'm doing this. So 
and it's not where I can see through it. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're kind of in my nose. And so if you hear me breathe and get all excited, that's because I really am getting excited. So that's the first fun fold. And like, I guess it's more of a pocket card, but it's a little bit different. And it's, it's, I don't know, it's different. And the other thing that's really nice is with this, not only do you have the writing room here, you can put their name and, you know, some writing room here. You have writing room here. I've also um, seen people put a gift card in it. So it can kind of double, which I think is pretty cool. And there's, yeah, I, well, I'm glad you think so. Okay, so that's the first one. Any What's that? Oh, hint, hint. He said hint, hint. <laughs> Are you kidding me with that? No. What do I give you? All kinds of stuff. I know. Um, any questions from anybody or any comments? Oh, they're loving it. Great card. Awesome. Yeah, I love I love this this paper. I've been kind of a hoard on the paper because I really like this paper. But um I have kind of if Joy's listening she'll understand. I mean, I do. I hoard paper and I have been, I, I hoping that maybe I can kind of, I'm trying to practice what I preach to you guys to, to cut it up and use it. So, okay. Um, that's the first one. Let's see. And there's more. Yes, there is more. Okay. So I won't need that mat because I'm going to be using a rubber stamp. Um, when this came out, I did a bunch of stuff for, from Botanical Bliss, and I know that um, I personally sold one set off of um, off of this to my mother because she loved it so much. She wanted to do stuff with it. Now this set does come with dies, so when you order it, you get the if you order the the two together while well, this catalog is going on anyway. Um, you can save 10%. So that would be before June. When does the new catalog come out? Let me see. New catalog starts uh, June 4th. So this is the new one. I can't open it up oh, on, weeks. on camera because that's just one of the things. No social media opening the inside. So from now until June. What did you say? Five weeks. Okay. If you if you want this set, um, you will need to order it now to save that extra ten percent. But it is going over to the next catalog, so that's awesome. Okay, tonight this one. Now this one is a little bit. What? What are you like? Always saying that you must set your DSP free. Bless the universe. <laughs> That way you can justify buying new DSP. Joy, you crack me up. Okay. So this one has um, a little few more steps to it. It comes out really awesome. I hope it'll come out just the way it did in, in my rehearsal. So my first piece I'm using. Okay, now I have to think about this because Joy corrects me. Is it Sahara or Sahara sand? Sahara? Sahara Desert. Sahara Desert, Sahara Desert. I don't know. It's the sand one. It will call it a sand. <laughs> and it's cut at three by eight, and then we're going to score it at four. So I'm going to pull out my handy scoreboard again. And just on the four. That's it. Just put a score line in it. So. That way I can fold it in half. And I want a nice crisp line on there. Okay, you guys know that, oh, now I'm gonna do it again. The petal promenade, petal, petal promenade. Tomato, tomato, you guys. But this paper is still some of my absolute favorite paper. And um, we're gonna be using it I hate to use this, but I got on, on celebrations, I got an extra pack free. So because I needed it, Joy, I needed that paper. <laughs> I don't care what you say. So I'm going to cut a piece of that at two and three quarter and three and three quarter. 
And what I'm gonna do is on the inside, I'm gonna take, this is Whisper White this time, or not Whisper White, very vanilla, and um, this time that I'm using. And I'm gonna put this, this is what I call a love note. And I'm just gonna center this in here. A love note, Bill. Mm-hmm. Is that a hint? Well, if the um the gift card is a hint, then I don't see why the love card can't be a hint. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so um on the opposite side of those beautiful flowers. Did Joy say anything about me needing it? Because she always laughs and says nobody needs it. No, she's saying no judgment. She's got some too. Yeah, that's right, Joy. No judgment. Okay, so I've made kind of a quick little love note out of this. Cute, cute, cute. Okay, we're going to stick this aside for a minute. Let's do a little bit of stamping. So I used the layered ovals, and I did... Sahara sand and uh, very vanilla in the layering ovals. So I had that little scalloped edge around my oval. Let's do a little stamping first. And I'm gonna get out my little background. So let's just start with the colors on this are petal pink and um, mossy meadow. Um, so I'm gonna use a little petal pink. And I'm going to use this silhouette of a bird. I love birds so much. Okay, I want to change my angle here. I'm going to do full strength, and I'm going to move just over to the side a little bit. Not bad. Okay. Then I'm going to take out the mossy meadow, which is this really dark neutral green. And again, I don't normally stamp in colors. I usually stamp in black. However, on some of these really deep, rich colors, um, I go ahead and use it because it matches the card. So um, well, there's a few sayings on here. I'm going to use this especially for you because it can be used for anything. I'm just going to give that a test. Ooh, let's see if I can get this straight. Okay. I'm going to kind of overlap my birdie a bit. Well, my hand slips, so. Hey, it came out. And I'm going to continue using that. And they have this, um, what is this? Greenery of some sorts here, this stamp. So I'm going to use this just to do a little bit of edging at the bottom. Now, this is a very dark color, so I don't want it that dark on my project so I'm going to stamp off once so that I get kind of a diluted oh I can't see am I on it or not I can't tell okay there you go just a little edging there not bad for not being able to see it's like maybe I've stamped something before And then I just easily, this is my favorite little, clean, as you can tell, it's black from all its use. We haven't even had them out for a year, have we? And I'm already got mine used all up. Okay. My Stampin' Chamois. I know. And I do. Okay, so I'm going to just add a little bit of glue. A 
Okay, so now we've got the focal point here. On our image okay so now we'll set that aside and let's go to the base now in most cases I would say it's absolutely awful to cover up this paper to use this side but in this instance we have to so let's just say a little bitty prayer for this paper because we're not going to show the beauty of that but this is cut at four by five and a quarter Oh, I hate this. I love how pretty it is. I think this would be great for um, wedding paper, but I never have anyone get married anymore. Someone get married so I can make a wedding card with this. This is also put on a piece of Sahara sand, and it's at four and a quarter by five and a half. Sahara sand. I don't know. Okay, so now we've got the components of our card built. Yay. Next thing, we're going to glue this down to our card base. So this doesn't open, it's just it's just the base. Let's take our green glue again and go around the back side here. Because this is just a little bit heavier, I want to add in a little extra glue. Now I'm going to come a little here to the more to the left hand side because we're going to glue this over here. So about half of that. So I don't want to glue. Um, the whole piece because I don't want to glue it down. <clears throat> I just want to glue this on. And I debated popping it up. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I decided I didn't want it popped. It's already pretty thick. So let's see. We'll go right about there. Pretty, pretty. So then when you lift it, see? This is why it's a love note. There's just a small little area. I actually got a request from somebody saying, when you don't, you like to make cards, but you're not much of a talker. <laughs> How can I um, make beautiful cards when I don't need, I like to send them, but I don't have a whole lot to say. This is perfect for that. Um, you can also do uh, decorations on the inside of regular cards too, but that's why I call it a love note. So I am using some variegated ribbon. This is 5 eighths inch and it does come in the petal pink and whisper white and <clears throat> it's really soft. Actually, let me pull that back out. It reminds me of seam binding. It's really soft and flowy and it takes a little bit of manipulation and I do I want to show you what I mean. So one side you can see the the pink on the edges is darker than the other side. You can see it, but it's not as dark. So when I was doing a bow and I pre-made one because I knew that this would take me forever is um since I don't have to make one now, I'll just show you. So take that side that's darker and you make your little loop-de-loop -loop, and when you come around this is where you have to manipulate to get this to go in here correctly. So you got to change that angle to put that through so that it comes in correctly. And it just takes a little, man, I'm not as bad as I thought, a little bit of manipulation to get that. The, the only other way I know is if some of you who are as bow challenged as I am is to, to make one little bunny ear there and one little bunny ear here and that way that's on the outside and then you just tie it in a granny knot. So are my hands gonna be nimble enough because I'm sitting here down in our basement and it's cold, like so. See, okay, now you know. But I guess I, now the one time that I have it pre-done because I'm so horrible at my bows, it, I ended up doing pretty decent, but I have one done. So I'm gonna take a couple of 
glue dots. I want to look at how I want this. And I'm going to stick it down here. Like so. And then, as tragic as it is, I am going to cut this down. Isn't that just adorable? So now, when you open it up, so it's just, I mean, come on. Am I giving Hallmark a run for their money? Maybe I shouldn't have said their name. Oh, hope I don't get in trouble. Am I giving the big card names a run for their money or what? These are extremely cute. I've made two of them now right in front of you. Very easy. Love it, love it, love it. Any questions from anyone? No, let's see. It's a gorgeous card. They love the bunny thing. The bun oh, the bunny ear thing? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. That is just another way. Um, actually, everyone can credit my mother for that. Um, I'll show you in a different piece of ribbon that isn't so flimsy. It's just two ears like this, like bunny ears. Fold it over, and then you just stick it through the hole like so and there you have it the other thing that I like about this is when you do this it's pretty much the same on the front or the back so it's a it's a great little tip okay but I did one in a bow and one in a knot so very very pretty I think this is just fun just fun. The other thing that you could do too is you could stamp the happy birthday down at the bottom if you wanted to, but I figured most people are probably not going to do a bunch of writing up here, um, maybe a name or something. So I started it, I stamped it down there. I thought it gave kind of a design element to it. Oh. Okay, so no questions from anyone? Nope. And I should just keep going? Nope. Awesome sauce. Um, Share my video, you guys. I gotta remind you again because I didn't get many shares last time. Can't so win if you don't share. That's right. So let's go on to the announcements. Um, our occasions catalog is still active and live. So this goes through, I think, June 3rd. So if anyone needs a catalog, let me know. If you don't have one, now this is for my customers, not my demonstrator friends who are on here. But um, if you're interested in learning how to stamp, if you are interested in being a part of the pearls, let me know. Um, Piccadilly Perks. So this is my personal um, gift to you. It's a rewards program. Um, where you can earn free products of your choice just for being a loyal customer to Piccadilly Stamping. So how does it work? Um, for every letter in the word Piccadilly, for every $35 you spend, you, learn, you earn a letter from the word Piccadilly via email comp confirmation. When you get all the letters collected, then you earn a free shopping spree through me at my online store. So it's totally free. You get to choose up to $25 worth of products, whether it's in this catalog or the big catalog. Um, and I have had some of you take advantage of this now and have a couple of letters. And thank you very, very much. Um, and then I will also pay the tax and the shipping. So it's about a $35 value for you. I'm trying this on a trial offer. Um, the offer is good and th through January 31st, 2020, um, just to see how it goes. So Piccadilly Perks. So on top of anything else, the only thing that I'm not um, adding on there, because even the clearance rack, which by the way, you guys, the clearance rack was updated. So you might want to check it out if you have any purchases, because it's first come, first go. If there's something you want, I'd act on it. Uh, you can you can go to stampinup.com to find that. You can click on my shop now button and it will take you to my store that's right on my Facebook page. So um, what else is I going to say? Stampin' Storage. 
I did not, I forgot to check because this was in here from last time. I love mine. You guys, I love mine. I have been, in fact, I'm going to just take this down. Now, if you get sick really easy, look away. But this is actually where I work. And this is my stamp and storage. So I've got my re-anchors at the top. I don't know if they show. And my current ribbons and all of my markers and all of my ink pads and all of my blends all right there. So, okay, now be really gentle again. I hope I didn't make anybody vomit. Okay, let's see. There we go. So I don't know if they are... Um, I know that we had sold out on the ink ink pad and marker storage, and we had sold out on the storage cubes, but I know they'll get more in, so keep a watch for that. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Yes. Okay. So, guess what time it is, Bill? Oh, it's time for drawing. How many drawings do you want to have? Oh, let's do three. Three, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let me get my thing. So we got our ticket pouch. Everybody's name's in there. I'm sh Hold on, let me shake it up a minute. Okay. Now, reach in. Reach in. Who do I got? Who do you got? Um, June Jensen. June Jensen. Okay, June. I have for you a sampler pack of product. So we have these um what are they called here now i gotta look in my thing they're doilies but i think they have a specific name they are the color doilies okay then i don't know how i could have forgot so i've got the color doilies for you to try out on some cards and some coordinating cardstock that you can make cards with for it. So I will be sending that to you. So congratulations, June. Okay, you ready for another one? Yep. Okay, let me shake it again. Oops. Oh no, hold on. I dropped a few. They shook right out. Ah! Hey, get in there. Come okay, on. all right. Who do you got now? Madison Craft. Madison? Awesome, girly friend. So you need to come over and make uh, cards with me. So I've got the same thing for you. Some colored doilies and matching cardstock. Oops, this needs to go with this one. All right. And last one, Bill. I'm shaking it up. Okay. Franklin! Franklin! Oh my gosh! Franklin won! Franklin won! Franklin, you won some too! Awesome sauce! Um, I just love this kid. I just love this kid. That is so cool that you shared. Thank you so much. So you have won some, uh, a sampler pack of doilies and I hope, maybe I'll throw something else in for you. <laughs> So, okay, so Franklin, I'm so excited about that. You guys, I want you to know I appreciate you watching. And um, my host code for this month, just to the end of the month, so we're getting down there, right? Yeah, next Wednesday. Yeah, this is till next Tuesday. It's CBQDXM33. Go ahead and share my video. Um, click my Shop Now button if there's anything in here that you want to um, purchase. If you have any questions, let me know. And keep the suggestions coming. That's how I developed the love note was because of a suggestion. So, all right, I will talk to you later and see you next week at 7 p.m. Have a great evening. Bye.